This is a series of videos. Please refer to the methods of stitches, ignoring the yarn color. Select the corresponding yarn colors in your material package to learn. Please refer to both the videos and the instructional brochure during your crocheting process. Please make sure to first view the beginning 10 instructional videos to learn the basic methods of crocheting, and then view the instructional videos for your purchased product. Dinosaur Wong If you are not familiar with the basic stitches, you can watch the tutorial videos first and practice the basic stitches with the practice yarn and the 2.5mm crochet hook in the kit. The main body Take out the corresponding yarn. Wrap the yarn around your finger. And then bring it up to your index finger. Pinch the yarn tail with your thumb and the mid finger. Work into a magic ring. Make a loop around your midfinger. And pinch the crossover of the yarn with your thumb and midfinger. Insert hook into the loop on midfinger. Yarn over the hook and the plop loop. A magic ring is formed on the midfinger. Working to a magic ring. Wrap the yarn around your needle finger. Then bring it up to index finger. Make loop around your middle finger. Pinch the yarn with your thumb and middle finger. Insert hook into the loop on your middle finger. Yarn on the hook, pull up a loop. The loop on the middle finger becomes the magic ring. In round one, start with one chain stitch, and then work six in crochets. Finally, end with one snip stitch. Work one chain stitch first. Yarn over the hook and pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. That's a chain stitch. First, work a chain stitch. Yarn on the hook. Pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. That's a chain stitch. The chain stitch is to raise the height and will not be counted into the number of stitches. Then work 6 in crochets. Insert hook into the magic ring. Yarn under the hook and plop loop through the ring. There are two loops on the hook now. Then yarn over the hook and pull through both loops on the hook. That's a single crochet. Insert hook into the magic ring. Pull up loop through the magic ring. There are two loops on the hook. Yarn on the hook. Pull through both loops on the hook. One single crochet is done. Such a V-shape is formed on the side. Place a marker in the first stitch through the underneath of both loops of the V-shape. We need to mark the first stitch of every round. Insert hook into the magic ring. Yarn under the hook and plop loop through the ring. There are two loops on the hook now. Then yarn over the hook and pull through both loops on the hook. The second single crochet is done. Insert hook into the magic ring. Yarn under the hook and plop loop through the ring. 
then yarn over the hook and pull through both loops on the hook. The third sun crochet is done. Continue to work three more sun crochets in the same way. Six way shapes on the side stand for six and crochets. Pull the yarn tail tight to close the ring. Remove the marker. Insert the hook into the marker stitch. Yarn over the hook and pull up loop through the stitch. There are two loops on the hook now. Then pull the first loop on the hook through the wrenching loop on the hook. That's one snip stitch. Snip stitch. Insert hook into the next stitch. Hook the yarn. Pull the yarn through the stitch and also pull it through the original loop on the hook. That's a snip stitch. Repeat. Insert hook into the next stitch. Hook the yarn. Pull the yarn through the stitch and also pull it through the original loop on the hook. Repeat one more time. Okay. That's a snip stitch. The snip stitch surfaces as a connection. It's not counted into the number of stitches. Round one is done. In round two, start with one chain stitch and then work six ingresses. Finally, end with one snip stitch. Work one chain stitch first. Yarn over the hook and put the yarn through the loop on the hook. The chain stitch is to raise the height and will not be counted into the number of stitches. Then work 6 increases. Increase means working 2 sun crochets in the same stitch. We'll insert hook through both loops of the way shapes to finish the following stitches. We'll work two sun crochets in each of the stitches. Insert hook into the first stitch. You are under the hook and the plop loop. There are two loops on the hook now. Then yarn over the hook and pull through both loops on the hook. Once the crochet is done, such a way shape is formed on the side. Mark the first sun crochet. Insert hook into the same stitch. Yarn under the hook and pull up loop. Then yarn over the hook and pull through both loops on the hook. The second sun crochet in the same stitch is done. That's one increase. Increase. Increase means working two sun crochets in the same stitch. In the next stitch, we'll show how to work one increase. First, work a single crochet in the next stitch. Then, work one more single crochet in the same stitch.
when increase is done. Continue to work five more increases in the same way. We need to work two crochets in each stitch. Six increases are done. Remove the marker. Insert the hook into the mark stitch. Yarn over the hook and plop loop through the stitch. Then pull the first loop on the hook through the original loop on the hook. That's one slip stitch. The slip stitch services as a connection. It's not counted into the number of stitches. Round 2 is done. Pay attention to the yarn's tightness during crocheting. If the yarn is too tight, we can't insert the hook easily. If it's too loose, the fabric will be out of shape.